many congratulations to the Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission on its 25th anniversary. Never has there been a time when its work is more necessary. Human rights are more under threat in the United Kingdom than they have ever been before. I had the honour to give the annual lecture for the Commission in 2022. At that time, there was a real risk that the Human Rights Act 1998 would be replaced by a Bill of Rights Bill, which seriously weakened the protections contained in the Human Rights Act. This was hard to reconcile with the commitment to human rights in the Good Friday Agreement, let alone the Northern Ireland Protocol to the Agreement for Withdrawal from the European Union, both of which promised that there would be no reduction in the protection given to human rights and freedom from discrimination. We all breathed a sigh of relief when the Bill of Rights Bill was abandoned last year. But instead, the government has chosen to disapply vital provisions of the Human Rights Act, currently in the particular context of illegal migration to this country, but maybe later in other contexts too. For many years, people who arrived in the United Kingdom without permission were able to claim asylum on the ground that they had a well-founded fear of persecution if returned to their home countries. Now that claim has been denied to them. So too has a claim that their human rights will be violated. The courts will no longer be required to read and give effect to legislation in a way which is compatible with the convention rights. The courts will be unable to give effect to human rights in individual cases. In the bill currently before Parliament, the courts will be required to presume that Rwanda is a safe country, even though the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom has decided that, as a matter of fact, it is not. This is shocking. We need bodies like the Northern Ireland Human Rights Commission to stand up for human rights and point out how crucial they were to securing the Good Friday Agreement and to peace and security on the island of Ireland. But that is not all the Commission does. In the Supreme Court, we saw how the Commission fought for abortion rights, and as a result, these have since been established in Northern Ireland. I am also intrigued that among their red light issues for 2023 is the abolition of the crimes of blasphemy and blasphemous libel, something I championed in the Law Commission of England and Wales in 1975, and which reached the statute book there 28 years later. Never say never in law reform, and never say never in the fight for human rights in Northern Ireland. <laughs>